Is whole milk good for you? Many people think that the saturated fat found in animal products like meat and dairy can lead to heart disease. However, in the last several years, research has shown the opposite. The researchers have also claimed that whole milk brings some benefits that cannot be seen in fat-free dairy. Besides, some articles have mentioned that fat-free milk is not as good as we have believed. It even does harm to our health and contains no nutrients. This video presents facts related to milk and some recommendations. High-fat dairy may outplay the low-fat one. For adult women who are looking for a way to lose weight, whole milk is more recommended than low-fat dairy. Recent research on children ages 1 to 6 shows that there is a higher intake of vitamin D and lower BMI in those who consume high-fat dairy than those consuming low-fat one. Such positive findings have also been found in adults. A study of about 8,000 women at the age of 45 and older shows that those who consume more high-fat dairy put on less weight in the next three years than those who choose to drink low-fat dairy. The reason is that vitamin D is proven to be fat-soluble, therefore, it may be better absorbed when it's paired with the fat and whole milk. In other words, whole milk is more filling and satisfying, helping you cut overall calorie intake. Milk is often processed before being sold in the market. Most kinds of milk in the store go through a specific process before they are put on the shelves. Pasteurization includes heating milk at a high temperature to kill possibly harmful bacteria. Homogenization keeps milk from separating by pushing it through a strainer. Centrifugation, spinning at high speed, removes fat from raw milk. Fat is added back in depending on the kind of milk being made. More fat added to make whole milk, less to make low fat, and none to make fat free. All kinds of milk are the same in terms of nutrition. All nine essential nutrients including protein, calcium, potassium and B vitamins are found in all varieties of milk from whole to fat free. Most fluid milk is fortified with vitamin D. Lower fat varieties also have vitamin A added. Whole milk does not contain additional vitamin A as it is naturally rich in it. The term synthetic chemical vitamins may sound scary to many people, but they simply are fortification designed to combat rickets, just like additional folic acid in grain products to lower the risk of neural tube defects in babies. Fat-free does not contain added sugar. The sugar you often see listed on the label of a milk product is, in fact, the natural milk sugar called lactis. There is no additional sugar in fat-free milk. Recommendations may change. According to the Dietary Guidelines and the American Academy of Pediatrics, over two-year-old children should not drink whole milk to limit calories from saturated fat. But thanks to some more advanced studies in saturated fat, many agree that there should be a shift in that advice and stop blaming the saturated fat in milk and other foods for the increasing amount of calories in the body. While this debate keeps up, consider this advice. If your kids prefer whole or 2% milk, buy that kind. If your kids like fat-free or low-fat, they're still getting the important nutrients. Buy the kind you and your kids like and will drink. If you are afraid of weight gain, you should focus on other aspects of your diet, like fast food and low-nutrient snacks, to cut down on. Especially, providing your body with enough water each day is a must-do. Remember to regulate the milk intake of yourself and your family, children ages 2 to 3, should not drink more than 2 cups a day in agreement with USDA. Kids ages 4 to 8 drink 2 5 cups. And for kids 9 to 18, 3 cups. Are you drinking whole milk? Tell us in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.